Welcome to SHOT Show TV. I'm Rob Keck, the Director of Conservation for Bass Pro Shops and the Chairman of the Board of the Wonders of Wildlife Museum in Springfield, Missouri. We're here today to talk about one of the greatest grassroots efforts ever to support our fish and wildlife, to really protect and promote our hunting and fishing heritage. It's called National Hunting and Fishing Day. You know, it was signed into law by President Nixon back in May of 1972. And it's been a great way for us to highlight our efforts, all of our efforts collectively through all the conservation organizations, through hunters and angler groups, about what hunters and anglers have meant to the return of so many great wildlife and fishery species. When you think about the return of the wild turkey, the white-tailed deer, Canada geese, black bear, pronghorn, and even our nation's symbol, the bald eagle, hunters and anglers have been the unsung heroes of conservation. We're really proud this year also to introduce our 2017 Honorary Chairman for National Hunting and Fishing Day. And before I say his name, you all will know him as an icon of the great outdoors, a legendary member of the NASCAR family, team driver, team owner, and a guy that is passionate about hunting and fishing, a guy that has given so much dug deeply into his pockets, dug deeply into the ground to make things grow for wildlife. He serves on the board of the Congressional Sportsman Foundation, serves on the board of the National Rifle Association, second vice president, soon to be first vice president of the NRA. I want to introduce our 2017 honorary chairman, my good friend, Richard Childress. Richard, welcome and thanks for giving yourself, your name, to this great, great celebration of hunting and angling. Uh, it's Rob, it's such an honor. You look down the list of all the guys that's been here, uh, the honorary chairman, and to have your name on that list, it's quite an honor, and I'm very proud. It's going to be uh, September 23rd of this year. It'll be a Saturday. But like you and I were talking earlier, every day is National Hunting and Fishing Day. Absolutely. You know, you served on the Hunting and Wildlife Conservation Committee as chairman at the NRA. And I know that that commitment that, that you've made there, the work that you've done with the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation, you've paid your dues and you've really set the bar high for so many of us that want to put something back, put more back than we ever take away. What drives you to want to do so much for the future of hunting and fishing? You know, we can't lose our hunting and fishing heritage in this country. You know, there's so many distractions today that our youth and, and people have. Uh, we got to get more young people out hunting. And that was one of my goals when I took the uh, 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 chairman of the Hunting Wildlife uh, Conservation Committee, the NRA, was to try to introduce more young people. We got to uh, make a first, take someone out, be a mentor. That's a big thing. And I just, I'm just so proud and honored to work to try to make for my grandsons to be able to see and their children to be able to see this country you know flourishing with so many animals that we that they have brought back the hunters and fishermen have brought back well you've done a tremendous job you've set an example for so many tell me about the work that you've been doing in nascar because you've spread that great word about what hunting and angling has done by well some things with your cars share it with us about about that as well you know Bass Pro, Johnny Morris is, is one of my heroes, you know. I, I and, was, and last year's honorary chairman, by the way. Yeah, I was, you know, I was asked earlier, if you could go hunting or fishing with anyone that you would want to go with, I would have loved to have went with the great Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, man. He, he was the conservationist. And I tell Johnny today, I said, Johnny, you're our modern day Roosevelt. The things that he's doing for conservation, but we run the Bass Pro car, in Daytona, we run it with one of my grandsons, Ty Dillon. We've had NRA on the car. We've got a museum out there, uh, an NRA museum. We'll, we just got past our one million visitor through the NRA uh, museum out in Springfield. Right, and that's at the granddaddy store of all the Bass Pro Shops right there in Springfield where the wonders of wildlife, which is home to National Hunting and Fishing Day, is found. So you've got the NRA National Sporting Arms Museum, the Archery Hall of Fame. We've got one of the great aquariums uh, of this country, 850 species of fish in a million and a half gallons of fresh and saltwater aquaria. 
the big game, the, the unbelievable uh, big game exhibits from the North American, the African exhibits, telling the story. You know, Johnny's doing that job of, of sharing what hunters and anglers have done for conservation, unsung heroes of conservation, putting so much into it. Richard, during this, this coming year, is there anything that uh, you want to try to highlight? You know, we have an opportunity with uh, a new administration in the White House to take hunting and fishing to, to a new level of respect and really get some things done that have really been idling on the side, some, like the Sportsman's Act, what have you. I know you've got some things that are top on your list you want to see accomplished. Yeah, you know, the big thing I like to do is let, let the hunters and fishermen, I think that's one of the things a lot of people don't understand. They are our conservationists in this country. Through the Pittman-Robertson Act that was put in, the Dingle Johnson Act, where excise tax on your firearms, your ammunition, on some of your fishing equipment, that money is put together and we raised over $1.2 billion and over $900 million in license sales and permits. All that money goes back into conservation and wildlife preservation, so we know restoration. Some of those state agencies, 80% of their annual revenue comes from those Pittman Robertsons. The excise tax here at the SHOT Show on firearms, ammunition, all the related equipment, what a story it is. You know, so many times that story isn't told because, you know, somebody, anybody, whether they hunt or fish or not, can drive down a country road, see a flock of turkeys out in the field, geese yeah. overhead, and it improves the quality of life for so many people. But you know, the NRA is also embarking on uh, some things. I know they haven't let, let this out yet to the public, but you really, I know, focus on trying to improve the image of the hunter to, to the general public. Because, you know, if you look at some of the surveys done, hunting is still supported by over 70% of the American public as, as, a, as a, an acceptable activity. Can you share anything at all with us? Uh, well, I think, Rob, you're gonna see a role that the NRA, NRA is gonna play in hunting. Uh, it, it's such a major, major role to let everyone know how important our hunting heritage is. It's okay to go hunting. It's okay. You know, we, I know about all the people I know, they end up eating their animals that they take hunting. And, yeah. and that's the part we want to let people know. It's okay. Everyone in this world has hunter in their blood somewhere. So no. where is the hunter in your blood? Well, no doubt about that. Where is your next hunt? Uh, right now, I am going duck hunting next week with uh, the guys from the NRA. We're going up to a really neat place on the uh, Maryland shores, and we're going to duck hunt. And uh, I just, you know, I just enjoy the camaraderie. People don't realize how it isn't all about just going to take an animal. Absolutely. It's a camaraderie that you can put together. And speaking of uh, our uh, the next administration. Saving our Second Amendment plays such a such a role in this up and coming years. You know, the fight's not over just because of the administration we have in there. Because you're gonna go out, there's people that's gonna still want to beat you and tell you it's wrong to go out and hunt or fish or uh, have your own firearm in your home for your own protection. We have, that battle isn't over just because we won. That battle keeps going the very next day, and I'm proud to be connected with the NRA to do the things that I know that we can do to help the hunters and fishermen. It's not just about hunters, it's the shooters, the fishermen, the anglers, the outdoorsmen, so that's what makes me proud. You know, I know it's been lifelong with you. I remember when those grandsons of yours were just this big, and you showed me a picture. I think they had taken two gobblers with Bill Jordan at Real Tree, and I could see it. In, in your eyes, I could hear it in your voice, what it meant to you. Tell me, what does it mean to you to, to take somebody that has never taken an animal the first time on their first hunt? What, what's that like? You know, it, Rob, it, it's like being a mentor. I had a mentor when I was a kid. My grandfather took me hunt, squirrel hunting the first time. That's the first time I can remember. And sitting there and telling me, don't move, do this, teaching me safety. And to be able to take someone out and be a mentor, it, they don't have to be a, a young kid. There's adults that's Absolutely. never hunted. 
take them out for the first time in the great outdoors and you'll get as much enjoyment out of that hunt as the people that you take out. So that, just being a mentor and getting people out. If you're a hunter, if every hunter takes a new person out, we'll keep building this. So well said. Here in just the, the final seconds, Richard, do you want to leave our, our SHOT Show listeners, our viewers, with, with a couple of thoughts that uh, you think might be important as we look into 2017, we look at National Hunting and Fishing Day, the 23rd of September of this year. Why don't you close us out with a good thought? You know, I think, I think what I was just saying, if everyone will take someone out, be a mentor and take them out, take them hunting, fishing, shooting, whatever, you're gonna get as much enjoyment out of it as anyone. And spread the word about the real hunters or the real conservationists in this country. Billions of dollars each year through the Pittman Robertson, uh, Dingle Johnson Act. It, these are the things that's so important to let everyone know how important hunting and fishing is. And on this day, that's a word I'm gonna be spreading is how important the hunters and anglers and shooters are to conservation. Before I let you go, a big honor gonna be bestowed upon you this week in Charlotte, North Carolina, Hall of Fame, 2017 inductee to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Richard, what does that mean to you? Well, it's, it's very important to me to, to be honored as the inductee in the Hall of Fame, but it's that list of hundreds and thousands of people that's helped me get in the Hall of Fame that I'm so proud of. I'm honoring them as much as I am myself. Folks, that's gonna be this Friday, January 20th, Charlotte, North Carolina, NASCAR Hall of Fame, 2017 inductee Richard Childress and our honorary chairman for National Hunting and Fishing Day 2017. Richard, thank you. Thanks for thank all you, you do for conservation. And on behalf of SHOT Show TV, this is Rob Keck. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great show.